For snowmobilers that enjoy both on-trail and off-trail riding, take a look at the crossover sleds for 2012. But now we're going to go into the crossover category, and fish, this I think is one of my favorites. You know, you couldn't ask for four better snowmobiles, so we're going to go out there, tear it up in the mountains, and see what they got, fish. Let's give her. We ride the Skidoo Renegade Backcountry X. The things I really like about the Renegade Backcountry, first of all, the 800 E-Tech. Gobs and gobs of power, low emissions, great mileage. I love the seat. It's just the right width. It's narrow at the front, wide at the back. Absolutely love it. Uh, the one we rode had an inch and a half track on it, which worked really well off trail. Side hilling worked really well, and then it lent itself a course just great to the trails, and the bumps felt great. The only downside is the lower windshield. The lower windshield is a bit cool, but hey, that's why they have an accessory catalog. Get a windshield, put it on there. I would definitely do that right when I get it. The Polaris Switchback 800 Assault. That thing is cool. That thing was like an RMK with a little shorter track. The only difference that I really, really like is the wider running boards. They got big, wide running boards on these. I like to move around, and if you're hitting bumps, I can place my feet from front to back. That thing is cool. That thing climbs, hits the bumps, runs the trails, does everything you want it to do. It instills a confidence in you that very, very few snowmobiles can do. The Yamaha FX Nitro XTX. That's got the rear tipped rail, so remember, First thing was a trail impression I got on it. It handles like a much shorter snowmobile. It doesn't feel like a 144, it's got the rear check rail. Had great power, great acceleration. What can you say about Yamaha engines? Reliability, I mean, you can put a bajillion miles on them. You don't do anything to them. Handled fantastically. When I went off trail with the XTX, the only problem I really had was a short lug track. A short lug track when you're in one, two, three feet of powder does not work. And they don't offer anything right now in an inch and three quarter anything larger. So from that standpoint, it's a great on trail crossover, but it's not as good as a competition off trail. And the best in class crossover sled for 2012 is the Articat Pro Cross XF1100 Turbo Snow Pro. What can I say? Turbo. I like the turbo, makes a big difference on how that sled feels. On the trail, that thing sat flat, it didn't push. Weight transfer was just trick, it just hooked up and when that turbo, you felt that thing boost, it just was gone. Next thing after the power is the handling. Thing corners like a train on tracks, it's like a slot car. With that much power, you think it wouldn't? It does. Off trail, through the bumps it felt good. Climbing was even with the turbo, just the power. 177 horse, it climbs nothing pulls or rips like that thing does. If you want the ultimate in performance, the ultimate for climbing, and 177 horse to blow the doors off everybody on the trail, you gotta check out the Articat XF1100 Turbo. Now onto the steep and deep to find the best in class snowmobile for the mountain category. This is it, we are in heaven right now. It's Snowshoe 2012, testing all the mountain snowmobiles and we brought a little bit of something for everyone. You're gonna see some of the greatest snowmobile riders that are up here. We've got mountain experts here. We have guys that are gonna give you footage that is gonna be so spectacular, I cannot wait to see it myself. Fish, how good are these guys? They might put us in our place or maybe they won't. We'll have to find out, right? They're gonna make us Flatlanders look like just that, Flatlanders. Check out the video, watch and believe what you see. First, the Articat ProClimb M1100 Turbo HCR. That thing has got big power. Now remember, you've heard it before, you're gonna hear it again. 177 horsepower. But it's making 177 horsepower at this elevation. Everything else is losing 3% per thousand feet. So they're way down on power. Big advantage for Articat. Now put that into a brand new chassis, the ProClimb chassis. Brand new geometry in the front end, everything in it is new. It's side hilled. Did it climb with 177 horse? You bet it did. It's one fantastic snowmobile. Articat hit a home run on this one. Next, the Skidoo Summit X800 E-Tech. Fantastic sled. Basically the same sled we had last year that we really loved, but they made some nice refinements. The first thing, the biggest thing I noticed was the new track. They put a two and a half inch Powder Max 2 track the new handlebars are tapered, a little more driver friendly for the Summit. And also in the very back on the X's, they put a little two door compartment to put water bottles, goggles, gloves, just to have some added storage. Just a lot of real nice refinements they made to make the whole package work. It's incredible. There's nothing I could not climb on a Summit. We're in some pretty steep climbs, three to four feet of powder. 
never bogged down, never burned in, never had to turn out. The snowmobile is very, very good. Now for the wild card, the Yamaha FX Nitro MTX. People say, you know, we've driven them before. They don't feel all that powerful. They don't feel all that, all that nimble. They don't feel all that agile. They don't until you put a supercharger on one of them. The other one had a turbocharger. When you put 190 horse into a Nitro MTX, it's a completely different snowmobile. It was absolutely incredible. Remember now, it's aftermarket. You can get it through Yamaha. You can buy it through Yamaha this year, but it's not coming from Yamaha with the turbocharger or supercharger on it. So I can't classify it in the category of the, all the other mountain snowmobiles I have evaluated, because it's not, it's, it's not out of the box. But if you're gonna buy a Nitro MTX, trust me, you have to have a turbocharger. The best in-class mountain snowmobile for the second year in a row is the Polaris 800 Pro RMK. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. When you have a product that good, leave it alone. And that's exactly what Polaris did. It feels so good. It feels so light, so agile. That had the smoothest transition from standing up to laying down of any mountain snowmobile I've ever driven. The, it lends itself well to side healing, hill climbing, through the trees, you name it. We put it through it, and I fell in love with it, and the whole crew fell in love with that sled. Even guys from other brands fell in love with that sled. We had the best mountain riders in snowshoot, and everybody agreed that the best in class is the Polaris Pro RMK 800. Hands down is the easiest mountain sled I've ever ridden. It makes a good mountain rider into an absolute great mountain rider. Players did it right. Which sled earned the Sled of the Year award? We'll announce the winner when Sledhead 24-7 returns.